Meanwhile, it wasn't the first NHL experience one young Montreal Canadiens fan was hoping for at Scotiabank Arena Saturday night. But the generosity of his favorite player made the night one he will never forget, even if he didn't get to see the whole game. CTV Scott Lightfoot reports. Hey, what a foul hey, with Suzuki! Jackson, get in there! Most young hockey fans who get to meet their hero don't do it with a fat lip and a face full of tears. He was he was crying and, and bleeding, and at the time, uh, you know, Nick came over and, and tried to, you know, uh, make him feel better. It all started during the warm-up ahead of Saturday's Leafs Canadiens game at Scotiabank Arena. And my sons both made uh, some signs for the game to try and, uh, you know, possibly get a selfie with Nick Suzuki. The sign was spotted by Nick Suzuki. The Habs forward came over and tossed the young fan a puck. He grabs a puck off the ice and and goes to toss it over the glass and uh, my son was kind of starstruck, I guess. He was just kind of staring up at it and uh, he ate it right on the lips. A puck in the face was not the interaction seven-year-old Hunter was hoping for, but Suzuki tried to make it right by coming off the ice, taking photos and signing autographs for the boy and his brother. What is Nick? What do we say? Hey, he also sorry. gave him his hockey stick. The Beauparlant family had traveled from Nipissing to Toronto for the boys' birthday and to take in their very first NHL game. After the incident, they watched the game from their 300-level seats, stick in hand. But in the third period, when they went to the washroom, they say they were informed by arena staff that the stick was a prohibited item and they'd have to check it at guest services and pick it up after the game. I think my son was kind of just... Was, it was over, you know, I think it was uh, it was enough of a game there and uh, he didn't want to lose a stick or anything. So we said, you know what, let's let's call the night. Uh, that's it. If we can't go back to our seats, you know. Hunter and his brother didn't make it to the end of their first game, but they did leave with some pretty decent birthday gifts and a memory to last a lifetime. Seven and eight years old and they, and they got to meet their idol and, uh, you know, not just not just get a puck, but, you know, they ended up with... Uh, a stick, a puck, a fat lip, and, a, and an autograph, you know, like it's, it makes for a pretty amazing first NHL game. Scott Lightfoot, CTV News.